We humans like to boast that we are the apex of creation, and indeed, there is no question that our species has achieved many groundbreaking milestones in the course of its existence. But do all these human achievements also mean that we are about to completely decode the world around us? The clear answer to this question is no, quite the opposite. Some observations and expert theories do not result at all in illuminating realizations, but in contradictory paradoxes, causing headaches for quite some time. If extraterrestrial life exists, why have we still not detected it? Why is the night sky dark? despite its thousands and thousands of stars. And what apparent contradictions would be associated with time travel? Want to know what the experts have to say about these key research mysteries? Then be sure to watch today's video all the way to the end. Would you like to learn more about the greatest mysteries and sensational discoveries in the universe on a regular basis? Then click on the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, and become part of the Simply Space community. Feel free to show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Fermi Paradox before we can maintain the basic conviction that extraterrestrial intelligences exist and that they are capable of maintaining their civilizations for millions of years, a fundamental question arises. Where are the aliens then? Actually, if they're out there, our extraterrestrial contemporaries should have succeeded long ago in interstellar space travel and spread across the Milky Way. This proposition was originally introduced into the field by Italian physicist Enrico Fermi in the year 1950 and still holds many experts spellbound. Since we have still not succeeded in detecting extraterrestrial life, experts are looking for other ways to decipher the Fermi paradox. The first explanation makes a further occupation with the topic null and void from the outset. According to the rare Earth hypothesis, the unfolding of terrestrial life embodied a unique process, which was based on a series of extremely improbable coincidences. Those who do not believe that we are alone in the universe see the background of the paradox, among other things, in the immense distances in our home galaxy. According to this, the colonization of the Milky Way would by no means proceed uniformly. Rather, bubble-shaped agglomerations with delineated catchment areas would result other researchers answer the question, if they exist, why are they not here? With, because they have extinguished themselves long ago. Stephen Hawking also believed that the technical flourishing of a species is always associated with great dangers. According to this view, at a certain point, unchecked progress would turn into internal instability, which would inevitably lead to the self-destruction of the affected community. Possible triggers could be nuclear wars, genetically modified pathogens, or uncontrollable greenhouse effects. The hypothesis of the Great Filter is based on the fact that a civilization has to overcome different barriers on its way to the technical peak. It might be that some extraterrestrial peoples fail at certain intermediate stages of this filter and perish before they are capable of interstellar space travel. Let's just look at the development of our own species from the simplest microorganisms to our hominid ancestors, to a community that sends its own members and artificial spacecraft into space, obstacles had to be overcome. But we may also be fortunate that we have not yet come into the view of our unknown neighbors. The frightening dark forest theory says that the leading civilizations of the Milky Way are not at all interested in a peaceful coexistence. On the contrary, to secure their supremacy and eliminate any competitors, these life forms send death probes into their neighboring systems. As a result, most civilizations would do best to remain undetected for as long as possible in order to ensure their own continued existence. In this respect, the Milky Way could thus be compared to the dark thicket of the jungle. Those who do not wish to be targeted by predators do well to eke out an existence in hiding. Considerably less disturbing is the explanation thesis, which says that the aliens are simply not interested in us. Once assumed that a civilization is theoretically able to communicate or travel over interstellar distances, would it necessarily see such an endeavor as a worthwhile goal? Given the economic and logistical effort such a project would require, some experts believe not. 
Olber's Paradox The view of the starry night sky is simply stunning. But have you ever asked yourself why the firmament is dark, despite its countless sparkling formations? Given that the cosmos is an infinitely extended construct, you would think that the distribution of stars would become uniform over great distances, so that the light from these dazzlingly bright celestial bodies would have already reached us from every conceivable direction. Consequently, it would be only logical if the night sky shines at least as brightly as the surface of a star. Even the German physician and astronomer Heinrich Wilhelm Olbers cut his teeth on this apparent contradiction in 1823. Over the decades, many different solutions to the night sky riddle have been discussed. For example, some researchers speculated that the light of distant stars is hindered in its propagation by dust and gas. Fortunately, today we know the real background of this cosmic paradox. Contrary to Olber's assumption, it is explicitly not possible for us to look infinitely far into the cosmos. Thus, that part of the universe which we can see from our earthly point of view is called the observable universe. According to this, since the Big Bang, only the light from a finitely large area can have reached us. Furthermore, Olbers disregarded another fundamental circumstance. The lifetime of stars is also finite, which further limits the number of those celestial bodies whose light can reach our earthly eye. Twin Paradox the exciting news in advance. Time travel is possible. Well, at least in theory, and even then, only in the future. The effect, which is the basis of this phenomenon, comes from Einstein's theory of relativity and is called time dilation. In order to make the background of this time dilation tangible, experts like to refer to the well-known example of clocks. Those clocks that move relative to the observer move more slowly than those that are at rest relative to the observer. At this point, let us engage in a little mental game. Suppose that one of two identical twins leaves the Earth to travel to a distant star aboard a spacecraft traveling at close to the speed of light. After completion of the mission, the twin sets course again for our blue home planet. And there, he is astonished to discover that he has aged less than his brother. How this age difference would be reflected in detail depends primarily on the travel speed and the distance covered by the astronaut. As a result of time dilation, however, a difference of several years could occur. This illustration shows us that something like absolute simultaneity does not exist according to the theory of relativity. Or in other words, the question whether two events take place at different places at the same time or at different times cannot be answered generally. Grandfather Paradox As briefly mentioned earlier, there is no proof that time travel to the past is logically, physically, or metaphysically feasible. Nonetheless, some experts are concerned with the question of what the consequences of a detour into days long past might be. In this regard, the so-called grandfather paradox is often listed. Let's assume that a person travels into the past and there causes the death of his own grandfather and this before he has begotten the corresponding parent of the time traveler. In this case, the grandson would face a fundamental problem. The causal chain that ultimately resulted in his own existence is no longer present. At the same time, however, the chain of necessary conditions that led to the journey through time and ultimately to the grandfather's death would then also be interrupted. Against this complex background then, different questions are raised. Did the journey into the past create a new timeline whose past includes the future of the old timeline? Can the time travel itself not cancel out the preconditions of its occurrence? Or does the grandfather paradox in its entirety show us that time travel into the past is impossible? A theoretical resolution of this puzzle is based on the assumption of a self-contained universe. This means that while it's possible to travel through time, it is not possible to destroy fundamental chains of causality there. Or in other words, all actions which the time traveler completes in the past are already part of his past. Anyone familiar with the scene from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, in which Harry and Hermione use the time reverser, knows what is meant by these words. Another solution would be the existence of parallel worlds. So the grandson travels not to the past of his own timeline, but to that of a neighboring world. The time loop hypothesis would probably represent the most sobering scenario for the grandson. Changing the past also changes the present, and the time traveler would have deprived himself of the basis of his own existence. 
And now, your opinion is asked. What do you think about the exciting paradoxes we have presented to you today? Do you know of any other thought experiments that we can rack our brains over? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on our video in the comments below. Want to learn more about the most unusual discoveries in space? Then take a look at the other contributions of our channel, which we have linked here in the credits for you. Thanks for your interest. Take care, and we'll see you next time.